Hi, I'm Jim Smyrniotopoulos, and this is another MedPix video. We have no significant financial disclosures to report. Today we're going to present a simple way to decide what am I looking at. It can be very confusing when you first start looking at neuroimages. Some people use pattern recognition, understanding immediately that these are all CT scans and these are MRI. However, you can also use an algorithm to be able to sort through the different shades of gray that we see on CT and various MR pulse sequences. Let's see if we can make this algorithm work for us. If the skull is white, as in this image here, it might be either a radiograph or a CT scan. This looks like a skull radiograph and we can easily see that there is a nail in the patient's right orbit. If we look at this image here, we can see the skull as a circumferential white ring around the outside and the cerebrospinal fluid in the supracellular cistern and fourth ventricle is dark. So this is a CT scan. But if you look at this image here, we want to be able to sort through very carefully to figure out what it is. The skull is not white. The white ring around the outside is actually scalp fat. This is an MR. And if we look carefully, we can see that the white matter is actually a lighter shade of gray than the gray matter. So this is a T1-weighted MR scan. We can also look at the CSF and the water in the eyeballs and see that they are very, very dark. Here is another MR image. We can see that in this patient, the white matter is not white. It's actually darker than the gray matter. We can also see that the cerebrospinal fluid is white and this is going to be a T2 weighted image. If we look at this set of images all from the same patient, we have five different pulse sequences of a pineal region epidermoid cyst. Let's see if we can sort this through using our algorithm. Take this image here. The skull is not white. We can see the scalp fat. This is an MR scan and the white matter is actually slightly higher in gray than is the cortical gray matter. So this is a T1 weighted image and this one happens to have gadolinium. Here's another image from the same patient. The skull is not white. It is an MR scan. The white matter is actually darker than the gray matter. The CSF is dark but not white. A little bit confusing until you remember that this could be a fluid attenuated inversion recovery image, which are typically done as a T2 weighted flare image. So this is a T2 flare or more simply a flare image. Here's another image in the same patient. The skull is not white. It is an MR. The white matter is not whiter than the gray matter. The CSF is actually dark on this pulse sequence. So this is actually a diffusion weighted image and the free diffusion of water in the ventricles and sulci is suppressed. Here's the fifth image from this patient. The skull is not white. It is an MR. The white matter is not white. The CSF is white, but this does not look like a T2-weighted image. This is actually the apparent diffusion coefficient map, the image that correlates with the diffusion-weighted image that we just saw. So when we see this very confusing pattern of images, we can either memorize, remember, and do pattern recognition for the different pulse sequences, or we can sort it out by using our algorithm. If the skull is white, it's a radiograph or a CT. If it's an MR scan and the white matter is white, and typically water is dark, it's going to be a T1-weighted image. If white matter is actually darker than gray matter and the CSF is white, it's probably a T2, but it might be an ADC map. And if CSF is dark, it might be a flare image or a diffusion weighted image. Thank you very much for your kind attention. This is Jim Smyrniotopoulos, and I have approved this message.